Welcome to MLH Arts. How's everybody doing today? It'd be awesome if I had one uh, Australian accent to introduce myself. I just imagine, like, if I was to have one of those British accents and whatnot. This one, uh, the, the, just a sidetrack right here, besides of that, what I, the gibberish I was talking about. We're inking Spider-Man, and you see Rhino busting through a wall. Spider-Man's jumping over Rhino. But anyways, this isn't just an ink drawing. This is Spider-Man Deluxe. This episode, I have two special drawings. And, um, we're gonna color them all. And unfortunately, they're not on watercolor paper. And we're gonna attempt it with watercolor pens. Hopefully I don't destroy the paper, because I've destroyed many and many paper with um, watercolor pens. I wonder if everybody enjoys um, hearing the birds. And uh, I'll be drowning the birds out with some background music. And I downloaded some intellectual sounding music. And uh, hopefully none of it's um, copywritten. Well, if it is, I, I'm, I'm sorry. And when I looked at it, it didn't have a title of somebody. So hopefully it's not. And I'm adding the webs. And Rhino down at the bottom, I did him with a brush pen. And I'm doing um, Spider-Man with a fine liner. Because he's a lot smaller and I wanted Rhino to stand out. Because um, when something's closer to you, the lines are thicker. And the further an object is away from you, you do better lines. This Spider-Man, you'll notice, I uh, emphasize his legs. Because I imagine Spider-Man's, most of his power is in his legs. Because he doesn't have a really, really big upper body. I mean, you could draw Spider-Man with a big upper body. But the way he leaps and, um, and weird crack moments. Don't know if you heard it, but... <clears throat> Anyways, but that, yeah, I almost lost my train of thought. Well, it's morning time for me. I, I don't know what time it would be for you when um, you watch this, but good morning. And uh, there I go with Ohms again. I'm not going to try to keep up with them this time. So how's it been going? Everybody enjoying wearing face masks? Y'all been doing, been, doing, blah, 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 been doing good wearing face masks? Sucks for me because of um, I have a generic face mask and I wear glasses. So if I tend to breathe too hard, my glasses fog up and my eyeballs get sweat. Yay! Can we tell Rona to go back where she came from and leave us alone? Or just quit hurting people in general. Or, or um, our human bodies need to build up some antibodies. So that, we're, that way she can't hurt us no more. So that way if our antibodies will build up from that. It would just be like a, a rhino virus. <laughs> Get it where I live for What in the There's a glimpse. Uh, before I get started, I didn't just jumble up the video. No, I just gave you an example of what you were seeing. So that way, you can see how everything's put together. And uh, right now I'm inking in Rhino. A little bit deeper of his details than even with the fine line. And 
Spider-Man just looks like a torso. There are no, because you can't see the pencil lines. Probably can on the television. I can't, I can't see it on the monitor as I'm recording this audio. We're working on the pecs, drawing in some of the debris. Um, a little bit extra shading on the pegs to make them look slightly not as flat. Drawing in small pieces. Hope you guys enjoy this video. This video was a lot of work to get finished. Not complaining because I enjoy drawing, and it didn't help that in between working on this video, I went on vacation, and uh, I wasn't allowed to draw on vacation, <laughs> and let's just say it got me out of my morning routine. So, uh, it took me forever to get into my routine. I will say it felt quite nice. Just sit back and relax. If I was rich enough, I would do that quite often. Forget trying to buy new stuff. Just relax more often and look at an ocean view. You can't beat that. Besides painting the ocean view. Yeah, yeah after, after this, we'll probably be leading up to doing comic booking. More comic booking panels. I was just demonstrating hero stuff. And I cracked out the brush pen. To thicken up Rhino's lines. So that way he'd stand out. To make him pop from everything else. Seemed like Spider-Man's in the background. A lot of comic book artists tend to use brush pens. Most of them do dip brush. And I have good news. I found my ink. It fell behind my desk. I'm very, very happy about that. Working on the, um, the right arm and then the shoulder there. Darkening up the, the right arm's muscle. Adding in some small details for the forearm. You draw this stuff enough, and um, basically you become second nature. Second guessing yourself when you're new to art. I mean, it's a good thing, but it's, it's just really a waste of time. I know his left arm. I went, I, I overemphasized on the um, forearm muscles. I wanted him to look beastly, so... I give him a little bit extra forearm muscles. In comic books, you can, or anything in general, you can exaggerate, over exaggerate your stuff. It's almost time for some more coffee. Shading in the um, six pack. Oh man, I'm all over the place. Can't hardly keep up. Now I'm adding in the details for um, the broken wall. For now. 
before I jump over to something else as I'm narrating it. I should have colored these things like Cheetos. For some reason, I just drew a lot of triangles to represent broken pieces of wall. But whatever. Who's going to second guess it? Anybody allergies kicking their butt? You go somewhere in public and sneeze and the whole crowd clears around you like you had the plague. And then um, you say it's allergies and then they yell coronavirus. And then you're just thinking inside your head. Yeah, I'm going to corona you all right. never thought I, I would um, be talking about something like this going on. Yeah. And I'm adding in small hash marks. Lightly applying them. Adding in um, more debris. Eventually, Spider-Man's legs will appear. Adding in the floor for the background of this office building. Up oh, to be continued. Cracking out another drawing that wasn't already worked on. Have Spider-Man swing in here. Instead of you watch me draw it, I, I, I um, lapsed it of pencil to ink because I would have ran. Oh, look at the lovely letter that my wife left me on my desk. Oh, that was quick. Let's go um, back to the webbing and do more detail. This one I was going to. For the most part, I attempted the Todd McFarlane way instead of doing the arches. I just go straight across where they're basically boxy looking. It was like, my favorite Spider-Man is the Todd McFarlane Spider-Man. Unfortunately, I struggled doing it at first so I haven't drawn Spider-Man in forever it's a lovely feeling and this pose was just I saw it somewhere and I thought to myself Spider-Man would he, he would fit in that image it was fr from some kind of book Sorry that I'm yawning. If I'm making you yawn, yawning is addictive. When my kids yawn in front of me, I'm, I tell them that's illegal. And then adding thicker lines, shading. making it look like it connect, connects to the rest of the body instead of it being a floating arm to his head. Adding in ribbed sides for his six pack. Drawing in the hip. When you draw the human body so much, it's just pretty much like a puzzle. After you get the head and you just figure out where stuff 
connects. That's the fun part when you um, get to where you can draw the tor torso and any comic book you way. I messed up. I did the web. And I connected it to the knee by accident, so widening it out. Yes, I know that um, wide out and watercolor doesn't stick very well to one another. Here's an, another nifty hint. When using watercolors, you can go over your paper paper with a white pencil. If, uh, well not a white pencil, white color pencil. And your watercolors will not stick to that. And that way you can protect your edges. And I did not do that in most of this drawing and I had to correct quite a few errors. This drawing right here was a nightmare. I was off my game. so much work for myself I didn't do his webs right look I drew the webs over the pecs the right way this one I was just like eh, eh, eh. and the funny part I don't have white ink to fix it I'm gonna attempt to do white acrylic so fingers crossed, it will work. <laughs> and the building in the background. I know it looks janky. I um, I thought I could do it without a T-square. I was wrong. Very wrong. I'm going to do it with a T-square. I'm going to white out the whole dang page. I think I can say dang. Here I go. Starting with the white acrylic. Oh, man, I had the most fantastic nap ever. And I hope that would, that it had cured the yawning I was doing. And Spider-Man's missing a foot. But regain it. <sighs> but, um, technically that wasn't a yawn. I was taking it a gas, but bigger. These are little speed ups to show you. Yep. A little penciling of background building. And uh, I had to do that because of the fact that um, this was a slightly big drawing, even though it was in a drawing book. But uh, I didn't want to make this video feel like it was an hour long video or something like that notice I'm adding the ink to the building and all that other good stuff you might hear KJ in the background in this one she seems like she's full of sugar but that's just a toddler's energy kind of wish I had that energy probably would never need to take a nap if that was the case scenario I had the craziest dream while taking my nap it wasn't nowhere near related of what I'm drawing right now as I'm just connecting my pencil lines what I suggest when you draw buildings, connect your pencil lines, and I suggest using a ruler. Then your buildings won't get messed up as easy. I'm, I'm not really good at freehanding buildings. And that's the funny part. I can draw rectangles and squares, no problem. But when it comes to buildings and adding windows, I tend to mess it up. And right now I'm drawing this, this skylight. So that way it would just add definition so that way it's not a, a plain roof. 
we get back to the dream. The, this dream. I, I tend to dream a lot about zombies. But for me, they're not nightmares. And either I'm on the run from zombies or fighting them off one or the other. It tends to be kind of like the cheesy movie, The Land of the Dead, where it's based off that um, awesome RV that has like, that's armored and all that other stuff. It has the motorcycles that come out of it and the chainsaws that came out the side. I know that movie's cheesy, but I enjoyed it. Dawn of the Dead was I it could um, I mean it was awesome let's just go with that but there was a couple issues in it which all movies have its own issues that some people don't think about when they were sending the dog down um, if somebody hadn't seen it spoiler alert but uh, when they were sending the, t- the dog down to go send the message to the sniper dude that had plenty of ammo. It's either a message or some food. One or the other. I thought that dog was going to get eaten. <laughs> I was like, poor doggy. <laughs> I'm doing the neighboring building. I'm trying to do the lines as thin as possible, but I miss it. But I'm doing some little lattice detail. On a little heavy handed. This drawing is not the best. I love this drawing. It turned out awesome. It's just building details. If you notice in comic books, look at the details on buildings. They're eh. But comic book artists, they have to be in a hurry and get this stuff done. For an example, look at House of M in that comic book. Um, right behind Professor Xavier, right at, they're in um, the Avengers Tower that just got built. Just look at those buildings. They're scribbled together really quick, which is understandable. And here we go with the coloring. I laid down yellow for Spider-Man as a base I could have done orange which uh, would have gone nicely with the red but why not yellow because you know everything has like that shine and stories for yellow when it shines on your suit all that other good stuff I need to talk more about movies Yeah, I'm a Dragon Ball Z fan. Um, I kind of like the animated movies better than um, the live action ones. And at first they were, um, I don't know if they're still making a live action one. Because I heard news about it. And I saw some video, I thought I saw some video footage of a fully CG cell. That was awesome. But the characters that um, look like they match the characters on the show. Funimation that created Broly. And you, it, if you notice on the Funimation episodes, they tend to be fillers. Because Toriyama takes a while to get all his stuff written. 
Well, he writes and draws most of his stuff. Funimation, they tend to do a lot of filler episodes. <clears throat> and you can tell when they do. Because it's just... And to me, it's awesome because their filler episodes are funny. But... Right now, I'm not... Sorry, dude. But it's, some of them are just like... It's, you, they don't need to be there. <laughs> That's what I was mean. But I'm, I'm coming in with the darker red earlier. With the red that you were looking at, that was a lighter red. But this one is... Um, you, you tend to add layers and and that's why I'm going over the li lighter red with the darker and then I barely let it bump up towards the yellow so that way I'd give that extra shade and whatnot. I, since these are watercolor pens for blending purposes I tried to add instead of add, adding it, all the yellow at once add it all and then and then I come in with the other colors so that way when they're still wet and I wouldn't have to worry about it if this was on watercolor paper and um because I can just go over it with a water watercolor brush to blend everything this is just a attempt and it's basically testing out these um pens I got I got quite a few of them which I enjoy. I I appreciate the presence. Presence to me is awesome. In you know, art supply, the presence are the greatest thing things on earth, besides my kids <laughs> and my wife. Shh, don't tell them. Just kidding. As you just heard, Zulu barged in to let me know that there were sandwiches and um, took me a quick break to eat a very delicious sandwich and thank you my love for making the sandwiches <laughs> so that way I can finish up this video but anyways um, Right now, I'm. I, I uh, instead of doing it as the yellow as it's still wet, I'm, I notice that the pens on this paper tend to um, stay stay wet for a good while. So I just went ahead and, and got it over with, ripped the band-aid off. As you notice, I fixed some of the webbing on Spider-Man's uniform. I didn't get 100% fixed, but better than nothing. And there I go over the um, with the light red. I am. I'm just trying to leave like spots where I would think the sun was the the the, the, the sun will shine on this suit more so that's why I'm leaving the yellow spots shine I guess is the word I was looking for and that arm is going to be darker because it's coming towards us, and I, I, I imagine the for the forearm part of your arm tends to be shaded more because it barely gets any sunlight. As you can tell when you flip your forearms or the under part of your forearms over, and the top of these fingertips and all that other stuff is going to get the most sunlight. As I sped up the time lapse. I'm not used to having a video that has two drawings in one. 
in a way, it kind of feels like I'm running out of stuff to talk about. I know I was talking about movies earlier. Kind of got a brain fart. I, I guess my brain's falling asleep because of the sandwich. Food. I think there's sleeping pills in food. <laughs> Just makes my brain go to sleep. And going over that forearm with a darker red. That also the fingertips with the underneath part of the fingertips and whatnot. Right now, I have a peppermint in my mouth. Try to moisten, moisten up my vocal cords. So, oh, so, so dry now. Going over the light red with the neck area. Also, just duplicating the same process. Just imagining what I think sunlight would be hidden. So if I had me a digital art pad, this would probably be going faster. But I do enjoy doing it the um, old fashioned way. This is um, kind of relaxing. process over again leaving what I think the sunlight is going to hit on the suit it's like rinse and repeat stuff with darker red the six pack here uh, underneath it I'm gonna go on very thoroughly with the um, darker red underneath it just to make the six pack pop out I mean I I don't, I don't want to do like the rhino drawing and shade shade it like crazy that was an office building and rhinos big self cast a, a a really good shadow down on his body and S spider-man's pretty much all all outside in, in the sunlight on this one coming in with the lighter blue for the blue parts of his suit and soon I'll be coming in with the darker blue This video is um, moving a lot quicker than I was used to when I was drawing the thing. That's the beauty of time lapse.
It was so funny when I was on vacation. I was thinking to myself, I should have brought a drawing pad. <laughs> Gone down in the lobby and um, eat breakfast and sketch something. I just wanted to doodle. It didn't really matter what I was drawing. Drawing in, uh, coloring in the rib muscles. I'm really actu actually, I'm, I, I, uh, my brain, I'm coming in with the darker blue to emphasize some of the uh, muscles on the legs. But like I said at the beginning of the video, Spider-Man, I imagine, is kind of like a, in a like a gymnast. All their powers in their legs, and um, I just imagine him to have really muscular legs going over the muscles on the ribs that attach to the um, muscles to the six pack. Just Concentrating on where I think the dark blue should sit. Want to make sure that I pronounce that word properly. Sit. Definitely. Because we all know that I, I, I don't want cussing on my channel. There's enough cuss words out there in the world. Sounds like KJ's upset. And going over with a gray marker. This is also a five below gray marker. Lucky when I found it. And give it a shot. And actually, it's pretty interesting. I thought it was going to be crap, but it, it works pretty well. There's the finished product, and here's the Rhino, and it was nice. Thank you for watching, like, and subscribe. Nice day.